in just some few minutes. Suzanne Ama G and then Kumbes FIFA rankings that came all the way in June. And here we get started with Ghana all in white playing from right to left in the first half. Ghana versus Guinea and Guinea on the other hand are in red with short of yellow playing from left to right. But in that they are playing against having played with them just a few days ago. Doris Bwedua for Ghana. And Doris manages to send the delivery in. That indeed being appreciated by not only the fans, by as well her teammates. And that was Doris Bwedua at her best. Even when she was losing her balance, managed to just swung it across. And there, Edubia, that was another one. And then this is how they approved. Ghana once again surging forward and this should be an easy one, but safety has been thought of first. And look, Ghana, Grace Asantua manages to still keep the ball, aims and goes for the goal to control the ball efficiently for the team. Prisla Dupia for Ghana, raises her head, sends it across, and that is quite another crucial save by Trare Mawa of Guinea. Well, how about this? Lovely build up and the run by both players, Chris Ladovia. And that's the oh, that attack, Grace Asantua, and is offside against Chris Ladovia. That infringement will go the way of Guinea. Referee playing the advantage, and Guinea are trying to build from there. How about that for a back click from the captain? Poshia watch it. Janet Ajiri, a tie boot against Janet Ajiri here. Kumara, who was lacking around, but look at this from the captain. Poshia watch it. So effort. Guinea, Diallo, Fatumata. And Guinea with the first attempt. Now the other internationals. She goes for goal. Grace Asantua. Intensive first five, 90 minutes gone, and no scores for each side. And then looking at it, both of them has been very, very solid. Looking at it, they have been defending targets, Esther. Evelyn Bedou taking her time there. So that was the build-up. Asantua Grace. Who managed to find a minute or even extra time can lead to goals it's just a mistake from the opponent you just pounce on it but Ghanaians have done what it takes but they are not clinical they need to be resolute and make sure they make it count one at sub life goal this can only be the exploit of a player but how about this sprawling away from the attack Raising her head without support, realizing that Rari was out of her lines. And that is what Evelyn Bedou, calf best player, can produce for you. It's gonna one guinea zero. But this is a solo effort. A very well read with an insane jury. Look at that control from her. Janet across the face of goal and goalkeeper. A Prisla. Manages to send this to Doris Buedua. And Ghana, Vivian Kujo. Virtually all the players of the Black Queens who were lacking with intent. Prisla Dubia. And there's another one. Prisla set up. To see how they are going to. But the Black Queens have also started well. They do. Um, where do I come in out? Ghana with a chance to make it for the second. Chris Ladovia scores. This build up is indeed great. They get in the goals when they need be. So it's Ghana with their second goal. And it is Chris Ladovia who gets the second. 
Evelyn Bedu, the goal scorer at hand, that's sister. Evelyn, I'm making it. Chris Lado Bia once again at it and Ghana with a chance to make it three. Chris Lau misses this. She misses a chance to make it two goals in less than two minutes for the Black Queens of Ghana. How about that? Was she trying to Amadia to Asantua Grace once again? And Ghana dominated. Yakubu! And Ghana gets their third. Evelyn Bedu makes it three. And she smiles. That means she has gotten three goals in two games so far as the 2024 Olympic qualifiers for the African continent is concerned. She was just at the right place, at the right time for the Black Queens of Ghana. But look at what Asantua Grace did to set up Yakubu whose effort was in has lived up to the ballot. The job is well done once again by the Black Queens of Ghana. And as such, they are just taking their time to build at the right moment from behind, of course. And that's why they are so relaxed, exchanging passes among themselves. Stella Nyameche raises her head. It's of has decided to rather make it a tournament, a mini one. And the contest in the first round has to be made by over 25 teams. It's either you win or you lose. And Ghana have chosen to be on the winning side, whereas Guinea have chosen the latter. Evelyn Bedu with acres of space in front of her. Evelyn, who is there to make it for? Fidel Ziakubu, the substitute who came in for Doris Bwedua, has made it for, for the Black Queens. And she celebrates. She was so sensational. She gets a hug from Coach Nora Hoptel. A huge one for her, coming in to fill in the shoes of her teammate, Doris Bwedua, who picked an injury in the right on the stroke of halftime. But how about that from Evelyn Bedu? She had a lot of space ahead of her, took her time, waited for support, and just fed Fidel's Yakubu, who makes it four for the Black Queens of Ghana. So it's Ghana for Guinea Zero, the Hazakes Ladies Wenga. It's all over here at the Crossbow Stadium. The Black Queens of Ghana have ended up trashing their counterparts from Guinea by four goals to zero. And the lady in your shots, Evelyn Bedu, had two goals and an assist. Prisla Dubia. Thank you. 